Okay, the Yahoo decibel level was up again in Dallas tonight, uh, in spite of the Giants' win last night on Sunday. And the Rangers are about to send Cliff Lee out to see if they can extend this World Series to six games on Wednesday in San Francisco. It's probably not going to happen, not the way the, the Giants are pitching, not the way the Rangers are suddenly hitting, and certainly not the way journeymen like Colby Ross and uh, Edgar Renneria are blowing up. And no, I didn't see this happening. But I want to talk about Cliff Lee's future because some interesting things happened last week after Lee and the Rangers knocked the Yankees out of the postseason. First off, this is an annual event that us non-Yankee fans really enjoy watching because let's face it, when the Yankees don't win a World Series, stuff happens. Um, they find a scapegoat and dispose of him quickly. This year it was pitching coach Dave Island who was fired last week. And Yankee fans automatically go into their postseason mode of what free agent do we have to buy this winter to win our World Series back again and establish our rightful place as sports' greatest franchise? Now, for more on this annual phenomenon, you really need to check out Matt Taibbi's Rolling Stone article at rollingstone.com. But the reason I'm bringing it up is that Cliff Lee is a free agent this winter. And he has long been tabbed as the free agent that the Yankees are going to make their biggest pitch for, which makes a lot of sense given the state of the Yankee pitching and also because very few teams are ever going to outbid a motivated Yankee front office. And Lee's done nothing to discourage this. In fact, he has encouraged it. My favorite line about him this season being that he would sign with Siberia if Siberia offered him the most money. Now, Yankee fans aren't even waiting for Lee to finish his season. They're demanding that the club sign him. He is a must-have for 2011. Uh, the same fans feel cheated. They thought that Lee should have been uh, a Yankee this past July when Seattle changed their mind at the last minute, traded him to Texas. And I think a lot of these fans are probably wondering why Major League Baseball even lets him pitch for the Rangers against their team this postseason. Uh, okay, uh, some of that is license on my part. But here's the problem that these fans have. Texas is also interested in re-signing Lee. And in spite of the heat in Arlington that Lee complained about this past August, the Rangers have an interesting plus in their sales pitch. That being that Lee, his wife, and family are all from Arkansas. In fact, Lee and his wife settled in Little Rock this past year, uh, which is only a 40-minute flight from air flight from Dallas. And Kristen Lee had some very interesting things to say to USA Today, and I want to quote you from them. That's the greatest thing about being so close to home, she said. It makes my life easier. We've never had a short commute before. Having a direct flight from Little Rock is great. But Kristen Lee had more to say as well, and this is where it gets interesting and funny. And I'm going to quote from this article again. Perhaps the Rangers' greatest sales pitch to Lee was simply having Kristen sit in the visiting family section at Yankee Stadium during the playoffs. She said there were ugly taunts. There were obscenities. There were cups of beer thrown. Even fans spitting from the section above. The fans did not do good things in my heart, Kristen says. When people are staring at you and saying horrible things, it's not hard to take it personal. Of course, Lee's agent came out the next day and said, Kristen Lee's Yankee uh, Stadium experience is, is a non-issue for us. It's, it's a non-issue. But I don't know, Yankee fans, that sounds a little bit like strike two to me. And it sure sounds like a wife who wouldn't mind staying in her new home next season. Now, we don't know what's happening behind the scenes, and it would be very rare for a pro athlete to leave the amount of money on the table that Cliff Lee will be leaving if he stays in Texas. But this is where it gets interesting, because Peter Gammons thinks the Rangers have the inside track, which just has to infuriate and dismay Yankee fans, because there is no number two with respect to A starting pitchers on the free agent market. And with respect to Lee, if, if, if somehow the Yankees are used as a stalking horse to drive Lee's price up in Texas, then this is something that I want to watch. I'm going to buy a lot of popcorn because it's going to be a lot of fun. Now, these may not be the only options or alternatives here. Uh, for one, if, if Lee and his uh, agent, if the money is as important as they suggest it is, um, then this marriage may be on the rocks. On the other hand, Kristen Lee and Cliff Lee may be the most awesome negotiating team in the history of Major League Baseball. Because if that's the case, what I just heard uh, Kristen Lee saying to the Yankee front office is, y'all better add some sweet tea to that opening bid, and that little meet and greet wine and dine that we're going to be doing in the holidays this December, better make sure that's a little more special than my last visit was. 
in any case, Yankee fans, to be safe, y'all ought to make sure that y'all know who Kristen Lee is next time, and don't, abuse, and don't abuse her on this next visit. Because I think some of you have it right. I think you not only need Cliff Lee, I think you might need him to get back to the postseason. So this is, going to be a, this is going to be a lot of fun for the rest of us to watch, particularly the Lees, who, regardless of what happens, they're going to be set for the rest of their lives. Now, that does it for me right now. I'm out of here. I'm heading to Arizona to watch the Arizona Fall League, some minor league baseball, and to participate in Baseball HQ's first pitch symposium. It's the 16th annual year. We've been out there at this time. It's 130-plus uh, baseball fans, fantasy fans, writers, media types, and front office and scout types. It's where the pulse of baseball is after the World Series ends. For those of you who are going, I'll see you there. For those of you wanting some information at this late date, check out uh, BaseballHQ.com to find it. Um, for those of you who aren't going to be able to attend, my condolences, you're missing out, but you will be able to catch the uh, Arizona Fall League All-Star Game, the Rising Stars Game on your television, the MLB channel. It's on this Saturday night. And with that, I am out of here.